Beach's Jesse Walker. Boy, it has been windy out there. These are the wind gusts, the peak wind gusts of the day over here in Greencastle at 40 miles per hour. Look at Vincennes, 48 mile per hour wind gust, 48 also over here in Mattoon, 36 in Terre Haute. So the wind has been a factor. The wind blowing in from the northwest, though, which is bringing in drier air, starting to get the clouds to move out of here. And it's going to open the door for a great weekend. 62, we're actually at 62 right now. That's the high for the day, which is actually about where it should be, but the wind makes it feel kind of cool. 46 was our low early this morning. That's actually a little bit warmer than normal. Most of our rain fell before midnight. After midnight, just a little bit, 0 0.06. So we're at 4.68. We're basically where we should be for the entire month. And we're only about halfway into the month. And we've got more rain coming up next week. So obviously going to be a wetter than normal month here. Some of you have already seen more than your normal monthly total. River stage, no surprise here, rising now just under 20 feet in the Terre Haute area due to the recent heavy rains. So here's what we're tracking then. Dry air is moving in right now in those northwest winds. Great weekend. You're going to love this weekend. Summer-like temperatures are moving in. And then stormy next week. We're really kind of keeping an eye on late Tuesday into Tuesday night with our next system as it heads this way. At the airport in Terre Haute, we're at 62 right now. But look at these winds. These are northwest at 20, gusting to 35, 36 miles per hour in Terre Haute. And the pressure, which was very low, is now rising as high pressure moves in and our weather is improving. So temperatures right now at the highest we've seen all day. We do have a 65 down in Robinson, 64 in Vincennes. So the temperatures are really not that bad. Our joint water tower forecast would take you up to Clinton, Indiana. Clearing skies, it'll be breezy. Temperatures will be a bit cool, but you know, that's near normal. Dropping to about 42 for the overnight low. On the water vapor satellite, the system is moving on. And back here, this is all drier air when you see the darker shades, but Look at that. See that spin off the West Coast? Pretty impressive storm. That's the one that we'll be watching as it crosses the country and impacts us mostly late Tuesday into Tuesday night and early Wednesday. But in the meantime, we had clouds early, even had some showers early. Those have all moved east of the area. We're looking good on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar. Nothing showing up here. Don't expect anything. Clear skies tonight. Cool, but about average. Tomorrow, great start to the weekend with some sunshine. Not as much wind tomorrow either. And even as we get into the day Sunday, a little front is going to drop in from the north and it will generate a few more clouds. But I think we're going to stay okay as far as staying dry. Maybe just an isolated chance to shower pops, but I think we're in good shape here. And as far as the wind, that's been a factor today, but notice by tomorrow afternoon, the winds will change to the southwest, not as strong, 10 to 15 miles per hour. As we get you into the day on Sunday, the winds will still be in the 10 to 15, maybe 20 mile per hour range, kind of out of the west to southwest as that warmer air moves in. So then what we'll watch is early next week. Once we get to about, let's say Tuesday morning, a warm front moving in, but the main action would probably come late Tuesday night. Now, if this comes through at that hour, 3 o'clock in the morning Wednesday, less likely for severe for us. We'll keep an eye on that as the storms develop and move through the area. Kicking out of here for a while on Wednesday. Could see a few more coming up on Thursday. And then behind that, we will definitely see a push of some cooler weather about one week from today as temperatures actually go back below normal by the end of next week. So for tonight, then looking good. Drier air moves in. Temperatures will drop down to about 42, clearing skies. For tomorrow, Great start to the weekend. Look at the sunshine, 72, not as much wind. And then after that, really warm on Sunday, but we'll see a few more clouds come in. Daytime high hits 81. We're back to 81 Monday. Late storms on Tuesday, Tuesday night, part of Wednesday. A few more showers and storms Thursday. We do turn cooler next Friday, but until then, got a nice stretch of warm temps. Now time for sports. Hey, thanks, Jesse.